Hi, this is Hilal. In this video, we will try to solve a national income model where a system of equations are given and we will solve it using the Kramer's rule. The question is, let the national income model be y is equal to c plus i0 plus g where y is the income, c is the consumption, i0 is the uh, autonomous investment and g is the government expenditure. And another equation is c is equal to a plus b y minus t0 where a is the autonomous uh, consumption B is the marginal propensity to consume, Y is the income, and T0 is the autonomous tax, that is the lump sum tax here. And third one uh, is given as G is equal to GY, where G, I guess, I'm not uh, sure, uh, this is the marginal propensity to spend, and Y is the income. We are told to identify the endogenous and exogenous variables here. First part is, second is find equilibrium level of income, consumption and government expenditure. And what is the economic meaning of the parameter B? The economic meaning of the parameter B here is, it is the marginal propensity to consume. And here first we will identify the endogenous and exogenous variables. Now endogenous variables are those variables whose value we have to find in a model. And exogenous variables are those variables whose value uh, is fixed or which is given in the model now here the endogenous variables are so I will write here to save the space endogenous uh, variables will be y uh, c and g because we have to find the value of these variables and our exogenous variables are that is autonomous investment and um, this tax t naught which is which we call uh, I guess uh, the lump sum tax. So these are exogenous variables. Uh, its value is given uh, in the model. So basic definition of an exogenous vari uh, variable is the, that uh, whose value is fixed or whose value is given. And endogenous are those whose value we have to find. Now coming uh, to the question. First of all, uh, so I guess I make uh, first and third uh, third question I have given the answer to that now we will uh, solve uh, this very question first of all what will we do we will uh, rearrange these uh, equations in such a way that the endogenous variables are on right side and exogenous sorry endogenous and endogenous variables are on LHS and exogenous on RHS now here we can say this is y so I will write first equation I will write y uh, minus c plus g so these are the endogenous variables i write it on the lhs side and we are here with only i0 this is first equation similarly we will solve second and write them in an order that is uh, we write the coefficients of y is first here it is by when transposing or on lhs this will become minus b y here one thing is to be remembered that we are uh, writing the endogenous variables in order that is we write here first y and in the second equation we write the y first now we have the c that is plus c and since no g is given us so here g is nothing uh, the value of g is not here in this equation now what is on our lh rhs side we have Mm, we have a a minus uh, b t0 so these are the exogenous here and b are the parameters similarly we will write the y this will become minus gy minus gy uh, plus uh, we have g here so i will write g which is here equal to zero so i have arranged these uh, equations in such a way that we are we have the endogenous variable on lhs side and exogenous on rhs side and we write these equations in systematic order that is first we write down the uh, the y's then c's and then g's after that we express them in matrix form that is express them in matrix form how it is done i have actually solve uh, various questions how to form this is uh, how to form uh, 
द मैट्रिक्स सेटअप ऑफ ए गिवन सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशन सो आई वे राइट हियर एक्सप्रेसिंग दिम इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म वुड लाइक वुड बी लाइक दिस फर्स्ट टेकिंग द फॉर्मिंग द कोपशेंट मैट्रिक्स ऑफ वाई सो हियर द कोपशेंट ऑफ वाई इज वन हियर इट इज माइनस बी एंड हियर इट इज माइनस जी सिमिलरली हियर द कोपशेंट इज माइनस वन हियर द कोपशेंट ऑफ सी इज वन एंड हियर नो सी इज इन्वॉल्व सिमिलरली हियर द कोपशेंट ऑफ जी इज वन हियर नो जी इज इन्वॉल्व एंड हियर द कोपशेंट इज वन सो वी फॉर्म द कोपशेंट मैट्रिक्स एंड वी राइट दैम वाई वाई वी हैव सी एंड वी हैव जी दिस इज कॉल्ड द सोल्यूशन वैक्टर विच इज इक्वल टू दिस वेरी कॉलम दैट इज वी फॉर्म एन अदर कॉलम ए माइनस बी टी जीरो एंड जीरो सो वी एक्सप्रेस दैम इन मैट्रिक्स फॉर्म वायर दिस इज ए दिस इज एक्स विच इज इक्वल टू बी सो हियर ए इज द मैट्रिक कोपशेंट मैट्रिक्स एक्स इज द सोल्यूशन वैक्टर एंड बी इज द वैक्टर ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स हियर नाउ वी फाइंड द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस वेरी कोपशेंट मैट्रिक्स द डिटर्मिनेंट इज इक्वल टू नाउ हियर इट इज वन वी डिलीट रो एंड द कॉलम एंड टेक डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ द रिमेनिंग एलिमेंट्स हियर वन वन जार वन माइनस जीरो जीरो माइनस जीरो इंटू जीरो इज जीरो सो इट इज हियर वन नाउ वी राइट हियर वी राइट we have minus 1 so by formula minus minus is plus i have actually shown this will become plus uh, 1 now deleting row and the column and taking determinant of the remaining element so this will become minus uh, minus b into 1 that is minus b and minus um, g minus g into 0 that is 0 so i will not write here 0 then first uh, i write the 1 which is positive second i write negative then third we have positive because the sign is interchange it became positive because it was already here minus 1 so third one is our third one is our uh, this one this one deleting row and the column and taking determinant of remaining element so this is equal to minus b into 0 is 0 now minus Uh, minus g into one, the minus minus is plus g into one is g, so this is g, which is equal to here it is one minus b plus g, so this is equal to one minus b uh, plus g, and this is uh, that determinant implies a is not equal to zero. If the determinant was a, we could not uh, proceed further. So there. Uh, the solution could not have existed so determinant is not equal to 0 why because uh, the value of b is between uh, between 0 0 and 1 similarly uh, if we subtract this 1 minus any value between 0 and 1 still we will get a non zero solution because g also lies between 0 and 1 now uh, to find uh, the equilibrium level of income that is to solve for y to solve for y we form a new matrix in such a way that we replace the first column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms so i will write to solve for y uh, we form a new matrix in such a way that we replace the first column of the coefficient matrix with the column of exogenous variables so the new matrix is uh, equal to a1 i will write a1 will be a new matrix uh, to solve for y i again repeat we replace first element with this so the new matrix is uh, i0 a minus b t0 and 0 we have minus 1 0 Minus one, one and zero and one zero one, and we take the determinant of this uh, this very 
matrix now a1 is equal to that is equal to now we have i0 and we delete row and the column and take determinant of remaining elements that is 1 1 are 1 minus 0 into 0 is 0 so i will not write here here it is minus 1 and with again another minus this will become plus 1 because sign is interchange here this is um, 1 this is minus this is plus so this becomes minus minus here plus i repeat i have made a full detailed video on the creamer's rule where i have solved a question because i am just giving you um, an answer to a question that was asked by a student uh, uh, to me to solve this so i will not go to the detail you can find my earlier videos on this matrix uh, sorry the on this uh, what we call it the creamer's rule so this is here now we delete this row and this column we are with a minus b t0 times 1 so this is equal to a minus b t0 times 1 is 1 minus 0 into 0 is 0 so we will not write that and now we have this minus 1 now deleting row and the column we are with a minus b t0 times 0 is 0 and 0 times 1 is 0 so we are here with 0 so what we will get i0 plus a minus b t0 uh, therefore therefore uh, equilibrium level of income is equal to using creamer's rule to solve for this we write the determinant of this new matrix divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix that is a now here the determinant is this i0 plus a minus b t0 uh, divided by the determinant of this that is oh, 1 minus b plus g so the equilibrium level of income would be this if we are given the parameters and numbers we can find the equilibrium level of income now uh, to solve for uh, c we replace the second column of the coefficient matrix with the vector of constant terms that is our new matrix to solve for to solve for c that is for consumption we form a new matrix a2 in such a way we replace the second column with vector of constant term so we will write here it is 1 minus b minus g and in place of minus 1 1 0 we write i0 sorry it's i naught or i0 i pronounce it i0 a minus b t0 and here we have 0 and 1 0 1 1 0 1 and we take the determinant of this matrix that is let us say it is uh, determinant is equal to that is 1 deleting row and the column we are with this a minus b t 0 times 1 a minus b t 0 times 1 is 1 minus 0 into 0 is 0 now we have minus i 0 uh, deleting row and the column we are b minus b into 1 is minus b that is minus b times uh, this g into 0 is 0 so we will not write here and we have uh, plus 1 deleting row and the column uh, we are with deleting this row and this column we are minus b into 0 is 0 now minus into minus is plus so this will become g so i will write here this will become uh, g and a minus b t 0 because this is 0 we have the minus of formula and this minus this will become plus now this is comes out to be a minus b t 0 here minus i 0 minus b 0 this will become minus uh, sorry plus b b i 0 or i naught uh, plus a g a g uh, 
माइनस बी जी टी जीरो लेट अस सी इफ सम टर्म्स गेट कैंसल सो दीज गेट कैंसल वी आर विद ए प्लस ए जी माइनस बी जी टी जीरो दे आर फोर इक्लिब्रम लेवल ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट सॉरी कंजम्पन इज इक्वल टू दैट इज डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस न्यू मैट्रिक्स डिवाइड बाय द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ द कोफिशंट मैट्रिक्स दिस कम्स आउट टू बी हियर वी हैव ए प्लस ए जी प्लस माइनस ए प्लस ए जी माइनस बी जी टी जीरो डिवाइड बाय द डिटर्मिनेंट ऑफ दिस दैट इज वन वन माइनस बी प्लस जी सो दिस इज आवर इक्लेब्रम लेवल ऑफ कंजप्शन सिमिलरली टू फाइंड टू सॉल्व फॉर दिस वेरी टू सॉल्व फॉर जी वी रिप्लेस थर्ड कॉलम विद द वेक्टर ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट टर्म्स एंड फॉर्म ए न्यू मैट्रिक्स सो आई विल राइट हियर द न्यू मैट्रिक्स इज फॉर्म टू सॉल्व फॉर थर्ड वन वी Uh, to solve for first we replace first to solve for second we replace second column to solve for third we replace third column so we have 1 minus b minus g minus 1 1 0 and in place of 1 0 1 we write i 0 a minus b t 0 and 0 now we take the determinant of this so i will write here determinant of this new matrix is equal to we write 1 multiplying these two 1 into 0 is 0 now there is 0 minus uh, 0 into this this is also 0 here we have minus from the formula and we have another minus this will become plus 1 and deleting row and the column we are with minus b into 0 is 0 uh, now we have minus and another minus of this g so this will become plus uh, g Uh, a minus b t zero. Similarly, we have plus i zero. Plus i zero. Deleting row and the column, we are with b into zero is zero. Minus minus is plus. It is g into one is g. So we are with this g. So we get uh, a g a g minus b t. Zero uh, plus i zero g. That means, or further solving, this will become. So it is not necessary. So I will first. A g uh, uh, let uh, let it be uh, this. Now our equilibrium level of. Uh, government expenditure will be equal to that is equal to a3 divided by a now this is ag minus bt not or t0 plus i not g uh, divided by 1 minus b plus g so this is the equilibrium level of government expenditure this is the equilibrium level of consumption and this is the equilibrium level of income so i have made this video in haste